All right, so the other day I grew, drew up a little picture of our garden and it's not perfect. It's definitely not to scale, but I thought that now that I have it on paper, I would kind of point out what beds are what in real life. So this right here is the strawberry patch, our cucumber trellis, our two raised beds. We have blueberry plants right here and a rosemary. And then here's the chicken coop. And back along in between the chicken coop and the back fence are two beds and our compost bin. I know it's super messy, but this is the bed along the back of our house, which right here I'm gonna grow tomatoes. So we're gonna put a cattle panel um, in the center of this bed and then grow the tomatoes along the back of the house. So you can see for these two beds right here, that's these. And I want to um, put a cattle panel in between both so that I can grow peas because last year we just grew peas on this little tiny setup and it was not nearly enough. That was just enough for snacking. So I'd like to have more. So that was just a little show and tell of our backyard garden during the spring and summer. It looks so much better right now. Everything is just kind of a mess. So I'm really excited to continue showing you guys the progress of our backyard garden. All right, so here are the seeds that we just picked up from Lowe's. Um, we're gonna do more green beans this year. Last year I didn't plant enough. Some more peas. These were the tomatoes that Barrett picked out. And these were the tomatoes that Oakley picked out. And then Michael wanted to try growing eggplant. Oakley wanted to try growing cantaloupe. And Barrett wanted to try growing, oh no, I wanted to try that. Barrett wanted to try growing the squash. And then in one of our boxes, we're going to have like a um, herb and lettuce part of the box. And so we got some more herbs. Right now we already have oregano and thyme. So we got some cilantro, basil, dill, tarragon, and then a new lettuce pack. And I already had some but butter crunch lettuce. And then some lavender seeds and then just some more zucchini seeds because I was all out. The seeds that we already had from last year. I have green beans, peas, green onions, some basil, corn. I'm not going to do that again. Uh, it takes way too much water. Um, watermelon that we tried growing last year and had no success so I might try again. Um, I have two things of cucumbers. Some Shasta daisies, um, some Livingstone daisies, Brussels sprouts, which I don't know why we didn't grow these, but I might try that. Some kale, which I had success with last year, and then this lettuce I grew last year and I got so much. So I'm going to do this again. Um, I grew this last year and I did not like the taste. It just tasted too dirty. Um, and then I have two seeds left in this um, big pink Hubbard squash. Um, these were given out by the community center in our town and then some dragon tongue beans which I grew a couple of these last year and they're super pretty and then some carrot seeds that we also didn't grow and I'm not sure why so I'll try that this year some of the seeds that I saved last year were green onion seeds and then I have some butter crunch lettuce seeds that I saved um, I saved <laughs> two green bean seeds I saved Oh my goodness, the dogs and kids are going crazy. I saved um, some marigold seeds and sunflower, and then these little tiny ones are Snapdragon. I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. It really does mean a lot to me that you guys take that time out of your day to watch, like, comment, and subscribe. So I just wanted to say thank you and bye.